Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to this channel, Old Car Auto Guy. My name is Jason, and if you missed the last episode, I encourage you to go back and check it out. Junior graduated from high school, and I unveiled the new wheel and tire package on Project Grandma. So if you did miss it, let's take a look one more time. What do you think about that? Pretty cool. So today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing some touch-up paint and maybe a little bit of cosmetic stuff on the front grill. So stay tuned. So one of the things that I have decided that I wanted to do is do something with this grill. Don't get me wrong, I like chrome. But on this particular vehicle, I'm thinking that we need to do something to just dress it up and set it apart from everything else. So what I want to do is I want to tape off the Mercury logo on the front so it stays chrome. And then all these grill pieces here and this section here. I've got some touch-up paint that we're going to fix today on the body. I'm going to scuff this up, prime it, and I'm going to paint it the same body color as the car. So in order to do that, we've got to get the grill off and that's a very simple job. There's just a little panel right here that has to come out and there's three little screw clips that just pop out right here, here, and here. And then the whole thing is just gonna basically kind of lift out of place. Just like that and now we have access to these little speed nuts and there's probably about a dozen of them all together. We'll take those out. They look like they're about a 10 millimeter and that grill should just kind of fall out in our lap. So let's do that. So each of these is not 10 millimeter, they are 11. Why 11? Well, because it's a Ford. So all we're going to do is we're going to take this wide tape and we're going to start with a little piece. And all we're doing is we're going to kind of tuck it down in like so and cover up as much of that chrome on the inside as possible. If you don't get it all the way down in there, it's not a big deal because you can take a little screwdriver after, just kind of poke it in. That way when you're done painting, you can trim it with an X-Acto knife. like that. So now we're just going to grab a scotch brite. We're going to scuff all this up, put some primer and then some paint. So now that we've got this all scuffed up and got the shiny finish off it, she's pretty dull looking. It might not look it on camera, but I mean, I can still see my reflection, but nevertheless, I think it's good enough so that some primer is gonna stick to this. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it up with a little bit of uh, brake cleaner, take the air to it, and dry the brake cleaner out, and then we'll be good for a squirt of primer. So let's do that. got here is we've got some Proform uh, spray bomb that we have mixed at our local CarQuest and it is made for the gold ash metallic uh, paint code that matches 
Project Grandma. So they were able to mix that up, put it into an aerosol for us so that we could spray it. And that's how we do a lot of our regular touch-ups. So let's get started on this grill. That's just a really light coat. You can still see the primer through it, but what we're going to do is we're going to wait for that to flash, and we'll come back in about uh, five or ten minutes, and we'll throw another coat on. We'll keep repeating that process probably three or four times. And while we're waiting for that to set up, we are going to come over here, and we are going to touch up these little bit of uh, these little rusty spots here on the leading edge of this fender, the driver's side fender, and this driver's dog leg here. So we're going to open up that door. We're going to scuff it down, sand it up, and we will prime and paint that to match the rest of the car. So we've got this taped up, this little piece of trim, and we're just gonna use the DA with some 80 grit, and we're gonna scuff that up, see if we can't get that loose stuff off there. And now we'll just tape off the areas we don't want primer. A little trick that I learned once upon a time was when you're blending, you just take your tape and you kind of roll it in half like so. So that the tape, the paint just kind of goes up and it blends a little bit right in there. So that's all we're going to do with that side. Put it over here. We don't want that going clear in to the inside of the car. So I'm going to put a couple rows here. And back here it really doesn't matter because all it's doing is spraying into the inner fender. So let's get the primer out. That's all the rest of that. Now we'll let this set. I'm going to go put another coat on the grill. All right, so we've got this side basically all done. Uh, we've got the uh, two or three coats of color on it and a couple of coats of clear and it looks a lot better now than it did when we started. The color matches up pretty good. It is a little bit lighter. And if you'll remember, we had a big spot right here where the paint was chipping off. We've got that sanded down, primed, uh, painted and cleared. And we're just waiting for that clear to set up before we take the tape off. And we come around here to the pasture side, same thing. Now you can see, I don't know if it shows up on camera or not, but you can see a little bit where the uh, paint was chipped away. I did not use any body fill or anything like that. We just uh, blended it in, feather edged it, prime, painted, and clear. And as we come back here to the grill, I am ever so impressed with how this turned out. I just really hope that I scuffed it up enough so that paint will stick. Uh, we've got about four coats of color. Uh, right now we're on our third coat of clear, and I think I'm gonna leave it just like that because I did start to get a little bit of a run over here. But nevertheless, I think the color is going to match really, really good. And once we get this tape off, it's going to be chrome in the center, just like a Marauder grill is. The only difference is this is going to have the Mercury badge instead of the Marauder badge. So let's get everything installed back on the car. Okay, so now we're ready. Uh, we did take this stud out and we've got it screwed back into the grill. We've got to handle this grill with care because it's still a little bit tacky but we've got the emblem to hang on to. And those little push tabs in the bottom are what's gonna help us get this in without ruining it too bad. So we get these holes lined up, we'll suck it in that way and then we can just give it a little pop going in. So far, I think that color matches perfectly. Guys, now it's time for the big reveal. The new grill on Project Grandma. What do you think guys? You like it or no? 
Should we go black? Should we go back to chrome? I don't know. I love it. And I think it was a great idea. And it was a real easy project. So for the cost of that rattle cam was about 30 bucks and a little bit of time. You know, it's a great little project that you can do at home all by yourself and not have to go and spend uh, an exorbitant amount of money on a new grill. So I would encourage you guys to take a look at this project and maybe do one for yourself. Let me know in the comment section what you think. So I figured while I was out here, I would retorque those wheels. Seeing as how we put those wheels on this car and we cleaned everything up, it's always a good idea to do a retorque of your wheels when you put them on your car, uh, especially if they're new. After about 100 kilometers or 60 miles, it's always better to be safe than sorry. So that's what I just did there, and now we are safe for another little while. I'll check them again probably at about 500 clicks, uh, which is about the time it's going to need an oil change, and then uh, we should be good to go from there on, really not having to worry about it. So what we're going to be doing next is we are going to be doing a headlight treatment from a company that sent me a kit that wanted me to try out what they had. So take a look at this. So first of all, I will apologize for the wind because the wind is starting to pick up out here. But the company called HeadlightRestore.us has reached out to me, sent me two of these to try and see if I would give it a review. From what I see so far, the process is fairly simple. However, it's the longevity of the product is really what's going to get my review. So first I'm going to show you guys how to do it and then we will check back with this vehicle in a little bit and uh, see how it goes. So. It's a, it's a pretty simple process. As you can see on this 2008 Chevy Aveo, the headlights across the top on this polycarbonate are faded because of the sun. We come over to this side, they're doing the exact same thing. So we're gonna use this product to show you how it works. So as we open the package, inside there are three pouches. Two of them are labeled with the number one one of them is labeled number two. So with the number one, you've got one wipe for each headlight. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out and we're gonna clean the headlight. And I'll show you what that looks like. And what they recommend is opening up the wipe fully, and it is quite soapy. And we're gonna wipe down this headlight. And look at all the crap that come off of that. That's gross. So we're gonna give it a good wipe just because I wanna give them the benefit of the doubt. It's okay if you get it on the paint because according to them, all it takes is just a little bit of rubbing. With a paper towel, once you get the cleaner on there, just plain old paper towel, and we're gonna give it a wipe down. And look at that crap. So once you've got the cleaner off and it's good and dry, we're then gonna open up the headlight restore protection layer and we're gonna rub it on the entire lens. And again, we're gonna open up the entire thing. We're just going to overlap our strokes here and make sure that we're covering the entire lens with the protective layer. And just like that, this side is done. Now it does say to wait for five to 10 minutes before you drive the vehicle because this stuff takes a few minutes to set up and you don't want to be driving catching bugs and stuff like that in it. So already you can see quite a difference from this headlight to this one. And we'll pull back here so you can see them both at the same time. So I'm gonna come over here and do the second one real quick and then we'll show you the finished product when we're done. And there you have it guys, there's a headlight restore kit from Headlight Restore and if you're looking at getting some of this product, 
I think it is very, very worth the while. Now, right now they've got a special promotion on where you can get one application to do one vehicle for $14.99, regular price is $29.99, so that is half price. This is their link. I will put it in the description box below. Like I said, it's a very easy product to install. I wouldn't review it on false pretenses. I would tell you exactly how I feel. Probably the easiest headlight restoration I've ever done. But what's remained to be seen is how long the restoration actually lasts. So folks, the company has given me two of those headlight restoration kits. One of them I have used. The second one I want to give away to you. So if you would like one, all you've got to do is make sure you comment down in the comment section below uh, and I will draw a name randomly from all the comments on one of my next videos and you guys will win a headlight restoration kit to see for yourself just exactly how easy it truly is. Guys, I'm still looking for a few license plates. I have been receiving a few of them. I've got a few more to show you on a mail call sometime and uh, we'll get that wall art project back up and running. The shop truck is going to happen in the next video we hope i'm going to get the wheels and tires and the lift kit installed on that and then you'll be able to see the finished product if you like this video hit that subscribe button don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and stay focused on the windshield not the rearview mirror i love you guys god bless we'll see you in the next video Follow me.